Perhaps at this most intimate description of Claudius Sorrell's relationship to the Torah, there the Torah describes how the mountain was on fire, God was on fire, whatever that means. Smoke was everywhere. And that's the image that one is perhaps supposed to maintain when they consider what it means to receive the Torah. It's supposed to be a very fiery experience. The Torah is a very holy thing. And it is infinite in its, in its wisdom. We want to keep it here in the heavens. We can study it in the heavens. Moshe Rabbeinu said to them, no, it doesn't work that way. He said, Torah study is certainly a focal point. But the Torah needs application. You need to do the mitzvahs. You need to bring into manifest existence all the principles that are described in the Torah. And in order to have that, you need to have this world. The Malachim felt the Torah was worthy even if there were no mitzvahs associated with it. And Moshe Rabbeinu felt that the Torah was worthy and reached its fullest potential when it was in tandem with the mitzvahs and the ma'asim tovim, the fulfillment of its precepts in the behaviors of human beings. And that's what it means to be on fire. When one asks about a yeshiva bucher, is he on fire? I think what one is asking about is do we, does one sense the enthusiasm does one, does one see a life that has been ignited by Torah? Because the Torah of Moshe, you can't just learn. The Torah of Moshe, when it burns inside of you, that Torah that sets you on fire is a Torah that motivates a person to learn, but motivates a person to act. And one can sense it when they meet such a young man. One can see that the person is a dedicated Torah student, which means not only what they learn, but what they do, how they live when they see the Yerush Shemayim burning in a person, when they see a mais, the Maisim of Mitzvos, when they see a person dedicated to a life of Avodos Hashem, that's what it means to be a yeshiva student who is on fire. Once a person is excited, a person is uplifted, you don't want to lose it. So how do you stay on fire? I spoke in the yeshiva about how a person needs to take every measure of inspiration in their lives and always translate it immediately into action. A person has to have pursuits. A person always has to be pursuing something. When one is pursuing something, one is excited about it. In life, I think one of the ways to be on fire is to focus one's life towards projects, towards goals, towards progress, towards achievement. In learning, perhaps it's to pick a masechta that one wants to learn the entirety of. The idea of exposing yourself to inspiring experiences. A person needs to seek inspiration. Because as much as Sinai is the experience that we live from, that we continue to, to pass on to our children, but Sinai isn't enough. People need an ongoing Sinai experience. People need to be constantly inspired and re-inspired in order to stay on fire. 